Rabbi Pesach Crohn tells over a story that took place in the yeshiva of Navardic. The yeshiva didn't have their own dormitory facility, and the boys would rent apartments that were nearby. All of the landlords were very happy with their tenants, except for one. There was one older, bitter woman who rented out 20 apartments to the boys, yet she despised them. She would consistently ridicule them, make fun of them in the hallways and in the streets. Often she tried to make life difficult for them. There was one particular Friday afternoon where she shut off the water supply so that the boys couldn't shower for Shabbos. A different week on Friday afternoon, she shut off the electric supply to prevent them from properly preparing for Shabbos. As you can imagine, the boys became frustrated and one by one began leaving the apartment, except for one, one boy, Yosef Geffen, who remained in the building. And there was one day when he was coming in from outside and she saw him and she began ridiculing him, make fun of, making fun of him outside. What are you still doing here? Why don't you leave? To which he paused and he looked at her and he said softly, I stay here for your sake. I understand that you live alone with your son, and I fear that one day something might happen to you and you might scream out for help, and no one's going to hear your cries. So I stay here to be able to help you in case that's necessary. And at that point, she was so taken aback. From then on, her attitude completely changed towards Yosef and towards all the other yeshiva students. And one by one, the boys started coming back to the building. At that moment, Yosef was frustrated and insulted, yet he was able to remain calm, hold back his anger, and actually respond back something nice and positive to the lady, which ended up turning around the entire situation. You know, Rosh Hashanah is approaching, and after a difficult year like this, we're all looking to secure a good year for ourselves and for our families. What can we do in order to make that happen? Revolbi tells us that one of the major rules of Hashem's judgment is that Hashem looks at our actions in the way that we treat other people down here and Hashem treats us in the same exact way. You know, the Gemara tells us in Rosh Hashanah, that means that when you're in a situation where somebody is difficult, where somebody is really bothering you and testing your anger, yet you're able to hold back even though it's very difficult, and not get angry, and remain calm, to be mavir al midosav, then Hashem is mavir in lo al kol peshav, then Hashem does the same thing towards our sins, towards what we have done. You know, the Gemara in Shabbos tells us, kol ha-marachim al habrios, marach min alav min that if a person goes out of their way to have mercy for other people, then ultimately Hashem will have mercy towards us. This Elul, if we could try to think like Yosef in that story, a person who was being tried, who was having a difficult situation over there, whose anger was being tested, yet he was able to remain calm, not get frustrated, and ultimately have rachamim towards that lady, then Hashem will be able to do the same thing towards us.